the panty part. That's <laughs> later in Brazil. <laughs> And uh, particularly with this type of show, it's a very interesting show because you have three cute little girls in the head of it, but you also have a lot of action, you have a lot of adventure. So it was one of these types of shows that you really couldn't define, oh, this is a boy show, oh, this is a girl show. Did you guys feel that during the process? Definitely. I mean, we have boy and girl fans, and yeah, my, my boys ages. love it now on Boomerang. It's definitely, yeah. you know, any gender, any age. Yeah, it's too long. All the villains are cool, so the boys can really tap into the villains. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Plus, it has a Japanese kind of feel to, you know, the Japanese feel to those those huge, you know, Godzilla-like characters coming yeah. through to destroy the city. You know, it's got. It, 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 they were together there. Mr. Mr. McCracken knew something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any really uh, fun or funny or embarrassing kind of specific moments from uh, 
recording. And, and also I was going to ask, uh, just with the voiceovers uh, kind of that I've dabbled in, I, I found that I, sometimes I'm not in the same room with other people and I never even meet them. Were you guys always in the same room recording together? We were always together, yes. which is nice because we got to play off each other and I think a lot of the stuff that happened was very organic and wouldn't have happened if we weren't together. And I do have a funny recording moment, aside from the fact that we always had fun. It was always a fun session. Um, when Bubbles first started talking to squirrels, and I was like, <laughs> and Tom Kenny's like, is this how you talk to squirrels? <laughs> and I like, had no idea I was doing it. I was like, yes! <laughs> she had to do the motion. But you know, I think it was important for us all to be together, and um, and so fun, and yeah. you know, it's it's so it's so hard. Like when you aren't, when you're in, like doing a game, for instance, and you're by yourself for the four hours straight, and because you really work off each other, and we really did, you yeah. know. And we have a lot of lines together. I mean, like so many. Yeah. It's like so weird. We said so many things together. So yeah, that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been happened otherwise. And, and we were together a lot of years, so we became good friends. Even though they make me mad. <laughs> we were babies. All yeah, we had babies. We all had a baby. Yeah. Right? We had a baby in the studio. Yeah. Right. Well, she nursed in the studio. That That's was what I did. did. We'd be like, <laughs> she would nurse it. We'd be doing a live. We'd hear little baby noises. Okay. <laughs> and we'd be like, okay, I guess we gotta do that one again. We would always make fun of Eiji because she'd be down like, Mojo Jojo had these like, page-long monologues, so Eiji would be like, oh, should we go through her first? You know, making <laughs> calls. We're like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> can you come and do your line? I like to clean my purse, okay? <laughs> I'm a little OCD and I do it in between lines. Or she'd be on her phone, you're like, are, are you like making, like, making a <laughs> nail appointment right now? Can you do your line? She did her nails in the studio. Yeah, I have to pick out Eiji. But you know what I have to say is this girl is like freaking, she could be like doing like, then she delivers her line like perfectly, you know. And let's give it up to her for being on The Voice. Yeah. Oh. Go to our web pages. <laughs> oh, well, can you also highlight some of the other voices that you got to work with to play some of the villains and stuff like that? On Powerpuff Girls? Oh, we have some great people come in. Mark Hamill. Woo! Woo! Phyllis Diller. Phyllis Woo! Diller was amazing to have this icon come. Who else? We had some great people. Tom, can you guys know this? Tom, Tom Buddy's awesome. Tom, all the voices. The <laughs> mayor, the professor. Almost every day. Tom Kane. Tom Kane. That's Tom Kane. Oh, Tom Kane. Tom Kane and Tom Kane. Tom Kane and Tom Kane. Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had Bob Hoskins came in. Jim Cummings. We had some amazing sure. people. Amazingly uh, talented people. Uh, catch up. I can get him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we just need to hold on to them for security. <laughs> So controlling. Uh, I was wondering if there's anything, uh, either for Powerful Girls or just your other voiceover jobs, is there anything specific that you, that you kind of ritual you do to get into character before you go in the studio? Are there any like foods you can't have? You know, can you record in the mornings? You know, is there anything specific you need to do to get ready to do a voice? We make out. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Just come on back. We uh, just I... make out. <laughs> It's great answer for those two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I eat, I don't eat dairy. Control yourself. Like, <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> there is so um, much fanfic is going to be written now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be yeah. doing the X-rated Bravo. Do you have a real answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Do you guys have real answers? I do actually. I listen like if it's a character I've done in a while, I'll, I'll listen to it, or you know, if it's an accent, you know, I definitely like like have to just get that in my head um, as I want to want. But um, what do you guys do? We make out. The songs we make out. Make out. We make out. Okay, this is kind of like 
a mild version of what it's like to work with you two. <laughs> this is very tamed down. So you can only imagine. And then you add a Tom Kenny and a yeah. Tom Kane and a Roger Jackson and whoever is our guest. Right. And we've got like four collects under yeah. <laughs> the director has she to really work with us. Guys, can you stop it? Yeah, guys, are you serious? Guys, guys. It's kind of funny when she got mad. Yeah. Uh, maybe I used to be a cop, right? Oh. Our director used to be a cop. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, so we just like, come on guys, we gotta record him. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I know obviously we're talking about the power of girls, but I'm just curious if you guys want to highlight some of your other voices that you do, other characters that you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Maybe we will take audience requests. Yeah. Wait, do we have any audience requests? Audience requests. Prince is Claire from Drawn Together. Is what we have. There are children in the audience. <laughs> the G version. <laughs>
I have to say, a pirate's life is a life for me. Yo ho ho, and if I love him, Tommy, and a happy feet, and Buttercup. Of course I love doing pop up girls. I love doing fairly odd parents. It was so much fun. Yeah. And Melody was one of my favorite roles because I fangirled out when I met Jody Benson. So to just sing with her was pretty amazing. And of course Twiley and Raven. I hate when people ask what's your favorite. It's like picking your favorite child. It's so mean. <laughs> uh, I was actually wondering, so when you have a uh,